1212 Cosmic Gateway Portal. It's a special, special energetic portal that surrounds a few days. This is a wonderful time for enlightenment and for grounding in all these energies. It's a, it, we're continuing to purge out those energies that we cannot take into this new year. This is a special, special magical time, and this is going to be a very, very special reading. So let me go ahead and get into this. Hello, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I am Luna, your Oracle of Starlight. I channel messages from archangels, star beings, and highest light spirit guides for your greatest good. I was sent by the Council of Light, and I'm here to get you to your highest timeline, that golden timeline. So if you're interested in anything like that, go ahead and hit that like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll know when I come out with a new reading. Not only does this help me channel for you more directly, but it helps me, I'll pick up on your energy so I can channel for you more directly, but it helps me to share my light and love of the world and grow my channel for which I'm ever so grateful. I have links below in the description if you would like a personal reading. I just opened my Etsy shop and I have a shop that is now a Shopify and a spread shop that is now connected to my shop so you can see that below um, the video and there's also a code I have as a welcome 15 for everybody for your first first or actually I put it for the first two purchases because I hate using those codes the first time and then not being able to use it again if I find something else that I like. So I have the a code of welcome 15 for my shop. I have my readings on special in my Etsy shop so those are not discounted with the welcome 15 but they are already on special so go check that out um, I also have links if you want to purchase any cards that you see in the readings or if you would like a link to my manifest frequency channel where I put out subliminals and frequency music and meditations to help you manifest your ultimate reality so go ahead and check that out I'll have links below for that in the description and I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to, oh, we'll go ahead and get into the reading. So here's the three uh, images we have to choose from today. It's a pick a portal. So we're picking a portal on this 1212 Cosmic Gateway portal. And we're going to see just what the uh, spirit guides have to say for you. So pick a portal. We have one, two, three. I'll go ahead and run this third eye chakra bowl while you're choosing to help open your third eye. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. And one of those cards is going to be calling to you the most. You might have messages in more than one group, as is often the case. So if there is more than one that calls to you, be sure to check that out because you might have multiple messages. I'll put the links below in the description and I'll see you in your group if you want to hang out. I did have a little bit I wanted to chat with you guys about. I get on here to do readings and I, I really have to get myself into the right mind state to do the reading for you guys. I'm going through all these energies too. And there's a lot that just came through. Yesterday was a crazy special magical portal. Did anybody have a crazy special magical day yesterday? Oh, and the energies were so super strange and it's like being in multiple places at once. And um, I think this is going to be something that we're going to be dealing with a lot. In, uh, in December, um, accessing multiple timelines at once, which has been a thing before, but this one feels it feels quite a bit different. Uh, like are kind of floating up in the um, floating up in the information, and as the information comes to you and around you, it kind of flows around you, and you can pick and choose what you wish, and you're able to see things from a different perspective. I'm able to see things from a different perspective. Now, every time I come to this and I get to the point where I want to talk to you guys, when I'm doing a reading, like I. It's, I forget what I'm going to say. I forget what I want to say. So I went in and I made a little note to myself for the things that I wanted to talk about that was going on recently in the energies that I have noticed. So let me see. Oh, yes. So everyone's been seeing the 144. Have you been seeing the 144 everywhere? It's been happening for a few days. Now, this is an activation of the 144. And I just heard this morning from Paul White Gold Eagle that is also, um, it's the codes from the Magdalene codes that are coming through. These 144 uh, codes, frequencies for the light workers. It's a bunch of information that's being activated. Um, all these accesses to, these are keys. These are Magdalene keys. 144,000 Magdalene keys that are being activated on the earth at this time. Isn't that incredible? But I had someone asking me about the 144. And when I talk about the 144, I'm talking about 
when I was a, ch a child, I, I remember listening, um, reading the Bible, right? So I was raised a Christian. I know we were all probably raised in different religions or pos possibly pagan, maybe without religion, but I was raised Christian. So I was raised reading the Bible. And in the Bible, in Revelations, they talk about the 144,000. And these are the chosen ones. They're the ones with, that are sealed on their hands and their foreheads. And these are the ones that are going to make it to the, the kingdom of heaven, um, the 144 that they're sealed. And I remember when I was a child and I and I talked to God um, I would pray to God I talked to God a lot and I remember knowing that I was part of those 144 I knew I was part of the 144 so this is how um, I knew about the 144 before I learned more about it throughout my life now this 144 I've I'm, I'm heard about it um, through several different religions actually but when I talk about the 144 I'm talking about the light workers that are all activated on the planet at the same time. So it's 144 light workers that are active on the planet at the same time. And these are uh, the people that are ushering the new earth. These are the light workers that have come here to um, raise the vibration, raise the frequency of the planet and help with this ascension process. So this is when I'm talking about the 144. These are magical star seeds, magical royal star seeds. Um, and that's what I'm talking about when I talk about the 144. Now, I know we were talking about the Easter egg. I was talking about the Easter egg in one of my last readings. I think it was the, I think it might have been the full moon reading. It might have been the, the three pick a cards with the, the unicorns. So um, I was talking about, I saw a, a picture. They were showing me the Adventure Time snail. Um, and as being an Easter egg, that something's going to pop up in your reality. And I said, to keep an eye out, be on the lookout for these Easter eggs popping up in your reality. Something's going to come from a musician, uh, a musical artist, or possibly a TV show that you really love, that you would like to see new episodes from. There's going to be Easter eggs in your reality, and these are the star beings peeking through, um, showing you in your reality these things that they're going to be telling you. They're going to be showing you, these things are going to parallel with what's going on in your reality. They're going to really ignite something inside of you plus they're just going to be beautiful little gifts and that's why they were calling them an easter egg you have to look for it but it's always there there's something special that's waiting for you i saw that easter egg just that afternoon right after i did the reading before i even posted and i was so excited because i wanted to share with you guys i've seen two of them now um and i wondered if anybody else has seen any of the easter eggs i was talking about so the easter egg that i saw was fiona and cake we were talking about adventure time and that's what they were showing me was the snail from adventure time and this being the easter egg and right that afternoon they had just released this new fiona and cake um series for Adventure Time. We are literally talking, and Fiona and Cake was my favorite part of Adventure Time. I don't know if you're a girl that has watched Adventure Time, but I think it was all of our favorite parts of Adventure Time. Plus they did the gender bending, which was so fun for lots of people. So Fiona and Cake, they um, we watched it and it was actually incredible. How it spoke to my reality and the things in my reality was incredible. It was just a beautiful, beautiful gift. We've watched it twice now. It was amazing. And then there was another one that came through. There was the um, the new Doctor Who special. Now, I love Doctor Who. I've been raised on it my whole life since I was a child. It was something that I was raised on. And it also was something that showed me some things in reality, that showed me some different things in the programming as well. Now, this new Doctor Who, when they came out with the newest version, I really, and I, I and a lot of people just felt like it was just kind of, like we just stopped watching. I <laughs> just say we just stopped watching. And it wasn't because the new doctor was the female. Um, that wasn't the case at all. I'm, I'm super happy with whatever doctor it is. It was because they kind of changed the format of the show when they started doing it like an after school special where they were teaching people stuff. And that really wasn't the, that was, really wasn't what the show was all about at all. So this is interesting. Um, they changed it. They brought the old doctor back. They brought everyone's old doctor back, David Tennant. They brought him back and they paired him up with everyone's favorite old uh, um, sidekick, Donna. So they've got the doctor and Donna back as a pair. And this is incredible because there was a new episode that just came out last night, you guys. And we put it on to watch. And it was so incredible because when the doctor went to regenerate, so the doctor is a multidimensional being, he's a time lord right? And um, he, in, when he is, he has two hearts. And when he is killed, he doesn't actually die when he is shot or something like that. He regenerates. He regenerates. And you see the light come out of him, all this beautiful light come out of him, and he regenerates and becomes a new being um, with a new face. He's the same 
person, but with a new face. And I love how this speaks to how we are immortal divine beings. And even if we die in this physical existence, we don't actually die. We would just um, re reborn. We get to choose a new face and we can come back wherever we want to. And I think that's beautiful that it was just illustrating that. But this time when he went to regenerate, and he's been doing this for a long time, you guys, when he went to regenerate, instead of regenerating, he kept the same face. And I was wondering what was happening. I was like, just hold on. I think something special is going to happen. And it did. He split off into a twin. He, he split into a twin. Another complete person came out of him and they are both parts of the same <laughs> and it's really interesting I was like oh my god they didn't they did they did do the twin thing they did it was incredible so those were two of the easter eggs that showed up in my reality and I was wondering if any of you guys had seen anything like that and uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about was this 12 12 energetic portal um, which is really a completion for the end of the year and it can be a really magical time so I'm really excited to share these readings with you guys Okay, um, I'm going to put those links below in the description. Oh, I'm going to say thank you so much to all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for my day ones. You guys have been incredible. I'm so happy to have you here in this beautiful family, this energetic family, this soul family, star family, where we can talk about the things that are happening in our reality and we can bring these things to light and we can bring these integrations in and anchor in these new codes to help to usher in this new earth, to help to change our reality on a complete other level not just our reality, but the realities of others around us. And I think this is going to be a beautiful, beautiful time. I'm really excited for this reading. So I'll go ahead and put the links below. Oh guys, uh, because those energies have hit me so hard, I have not had a chance to answer um, my comments or my messages. Uh, I want to tell you, I will get to them. Thank you so much. I do appreciate your all of your letters, uh, the links that you send to me. Thank you so much. Any sort of exchange of energy, I'm so grateful for. Uh, thank you for all of your beautiful comments. I've noticed that the subscriber count went up quite a bit. So thank you to all of my new subscribers. Um, again, thank you to my day ones. But welcome in. I'm really excited to have you guys here. Okay, let's get to the reading. Hello and welcome to group number one. If you chose card number one, you chose this beautiful portal. This beautiful portal. And I got the picture of it on my phone as well. So I can keep it here with me as we are tapping in. So I can see it. Okay. Let me go ahead and tap into your messages for the 1212 portal, group number one. Group number one, right now they're showing me it's like a time of kind of a, a time of a void. It's like we're floating in the aethers. And I feel the frequencies around me. I do feel the frequencies and tones. Right now is a time to choose. It's a time to choose as these options are floating around you, as these thoughts, these feelings, these processes. You're going to be able to see them from a higher level. And it's a time to choose which way you want to go. Choose the things you want to pull in. Choose the things you want to push out. This is a great time of change. This is a great time of change for you, group number one. Let's go ahead and get some cards. And we're going to get some, oh, I see the change. So I see this change, this cosmic doorway. They're showing me the card now. I'm looking at the card. There are some new energies that's come into your life recently. It's really opened up your perspective on a different level. Let me turn down my birds a little bit. They have me playing in a 12-12 frequency, so I just wanted to let you know there's a 12-12 frequency for the 12-12 portal. <laughs> 12th dimension, uh, 12 dimensional activation, and I'm hearing uh, 12 strand DNA activation as well, Mercado activation. This is uh, taking you to an all new reality. This new reality that you're moving into with this next year, uh, it's going to be an all new reality. This is what they're showing me, this spiraling out as you've come from this reality and you're coming through a new doorway. You've come from this other dimension and you're getting ready to go into this doorway. Let's get some charms. Judge, justice. This is justice. This is justice for you. This new, this new dimension, this new path, this new gateway where you're going, this new life, this is justice for you. Justice for you. Justice for you from these karmic cycles I am hearing. Because you are the star. 
You are the star. It's bringing peace. This is bringing peace to this planet. Abundance. We've got the little grapes for abundance. It's bringing you to abundance. So there's abundance coming in in this new year. This might be something you've been working on. With this mermaid, I've got this mermaid. I feel Lemurian activations here. And this more, I feel this grounding in of Lemurian energies. That's what I feel. There were already Lemurian activations. I feel the grounding in of Lemurian energies to bring in this new earth. You're going into magic and independence. This is going to be a more independent time and even more magical time next year. I don't know if you can even imagine how it could get more magical. But I think it's, it's going to definitely get more magical. It's um, through these death processes, through the skull and crossbones. No. I have to get these volume down. There we go, birds. You're too loud. Okay. For the skull and crossbones. Now, the skull and bones could have a specific meaning for you. For some of you, this is just as from these skull and crossbones energies, just as from this underworld energies, just as from this underworld energies that are bringing you to peace. For others of you, you're just getting into those rebel energies, and I feel there's these death processes of the old you, the death processes of the old self, which is not you, all those little things around you, all those things that make up you, that the things that you pick up, the nuances, the habits, the um, just things that come out automatically, those aren't you. That's not the heart of you. So it's a death to those those things. It's a death to those things right now. It's bringing in these new earth energies. It's bringing in these Lemurian energies. It's bringing in this star energy. It's bringing in peace, peace and magic. This is justice. This is justice for the earth. This is justice for these star seeds, for the pathway that you came in to work through. These hard, hard energies that you came in to work through to change the vibration of the earth. To change the matrix. Have patience with yourself through this process. This is a temperance energy. And look at the beautiful echoing of the cards. As these frequencies are coming in, and you've been having to have patience, but I feel like you need to keep having patience over these next, over these portal days. This is going to be a time to absorb the energies, a time to reflect, uh, uh, not a time to act. This is a time to heal, a time for peace. I want you to get some crystal medicine oracle cards now. Oh, you're going somewhere new. It's going to be incredible. This is a crystal blessing, a crystal blessing for your journey with a cathedral light bearer. You were connecting to your Akashic records and you're pulling in all this skill and wisdom. And I feel right now with the cathedral light bearer, it's actually accessing these, uh, these 144 Magdalene keys that we were just talking about in the beginning. So it's the Magdalene keys that are coming through, the keys that are coming through over these next few days. This is the Grandmother Crystal Diva. So also a grandmother energy could be very important for you. There may be a grandmother guide around you at this time. But I do feel the divine, uh, a, a mature divine frequency that is here to balance these energies. They're showing me the eight. To balance these energies that maybe were not the same. So they're showing me like two two different forces and a balancing of energies that were not the same. And they're showing me the as above, so below, as within, so without. So an upper world and an underworld. So this could be balancing of the upper world and the underworld. This could be balancing of karmic cycles. This could be balancing of two peoples. So take this how it resonates because I have several different messages here. This is a reflection that you're doing in this time with the 22. It's taking you to enlightenment. This is the winter. It's happening in the winter. And with the rodent, I feel that it's, again, it's healing. It's healing your heart. This is healing, healing your heart. And it's grounding these energies in. It's going to be very nurturing and healing for you. I'm going to get some energy oracle cards. Archangel Michael. First chakra, Archangel Michael. So, yes, grounding in those energies. It's going to be healing for you to cut away those negative energies. Now, not only is this grandmother energy here but there's also this archangel michael energy is here with you and they're showing you the three and the five for the eight as well so these energies are working in concert the angels and this grandmother this divine sophia energies are working in concert um to heal you in this time and to bring in these energies and this grandmother energy is keeping you in this space and filling you with this wisdom Archangel Michael is holding the space and protecting you and keeping away these negative energies. So you may be using, and I feel like you're rooting these energies in now because they're showing me the root chakra. 
So maybe you're doing a lot of root chakra work or you're working and grounding these energies in to your reality. This could be a call to do more root chakra work for some of you. I'm seeing a very red, red color. Maybe you're wearing more red. Maybe you're just wearing more red. It's going to be grounding in these energies. But I do see, I see this beautiful red. I'm so drawn to it. I'm so drawn to this red, this, and magenta. Magenta is also a beautiful color that would be coming out right now. A bright, bright, bright pink with the pink here. So I'm feeling the pinks, the purples, the reds, these deep colors. And now they're showing me this crown activation of Archangel Michael. So there's a major crown activation going on for these next few days as well. There's a huge upgrade going on. So there could be, now they're telling me there could be some sort of headaches. Um, definitely be drinking lots of water. Drink lots of water. This will relieve any of that. Make sure it's spring water. Or if you don't have spring water, add a little sea salt um, or a little salt that you can. This is going to ground these energies and it's going to make this water uh, more available to you. It's going to activate the water. You're going to be able to take in these energies better. And I would definitely bless your water right now as well. I'm getting a few different, co um, all this information is coming in right away. So these are definitely messages for someone. Now, also with the the possible headaches with these crown chakra upgrades, there needs to be a lot of rest. It needs a, less, a lot of resting and recharging. But you're going to be able to see some magical things. You're going to be able to feel some things as well. Have patience with yourself during this time. Have patience with yourself in this process. This is temperance. This is patience. As you're grounding in these angelic energies. As you're grounding in this divine flame. And they're showing you the divine flame. This could be energies of twin energies as well. But this is the garden and the gate. The garden and the gate. You are thinking about stepping out into the world, and you may be stepping out there soon. What's going on with the this new new year energy as stepping into the gate? So yes, stepping out of the garden, uh, out of the garden of your own your own personal area that you feel safe in, and stepping out the gate, going out into this wild world because there's a new there's something new coming in. This new, uh, this new year is bringing something new. It's going to be completely new. Fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, because you are speaking your truth now. Got this throat chakra open and you're speaking your truth. And this is what is bringing in this newness. It's what's bringing you through this gateway. Now, they're also, uh, they're also showing me some throat chakra work would be helpful through, during this time. Any sort of frequency, frequency meditations. Um, a Merkaba meditation as well, any sort of chakra, maybe you're already doing this. There was some sort of indecision. There was some sort of indecision along your path, and they're showing me the eight. So they're showing you the eight, eight, eight. So there's an eight, eight, eight here. This indecision, you may be reflecting upon it right now. But you are going to this new timeline. You're going to this new energy. You're going to this new dimension. There's this new you, this new year has something special, something incredible. This indecision. Let's get a few uh, a few clarifiers for this indecision. Oh, because there was a it was like a partnership. I feel this two of pentacles. It's indecision about a partnership, some sort of balance, some sort of struggle. It just could have been um, the struggle with your finances as well. This could have been just balancing these energies on Earth. It was a lot. It's been a lot to balance out these energies. Let's get another clarifier for this indecision. The Milky Way and the Page of Wands. So yes, the, the galaxy has brought these frequencies through to light this fire in you to send you on your way. Because you might be kind of new to this. And you might be new to this path. This might be a new initiate thing. Um, this is definitely, you are being, this, the fire is being lit by these higher frequencies, right? these star beings, to send you on your way. That is a beautiful, beautiful message. Okay, let me get a few more cards. I want to get Gateway of Light Activation. Gateway of Light Activation. Maybe purging out energies from this old timeline right now. Purging out these energies. These frequencies around you are helping you through these energetic portal days. There's a special energetic portal. It fell on the floor, but we're picking it back up. This solar light upgrade, this solar plexus chakra, inner fire and willpower. So that's what they're doing. They're giving you this inner fire, this page of wands. They're giving you this inner fire and the willpower to step out the, the gate, 
And that's what's coming through on this 1212 portal. This inner fire, this willpower to step out of the gate and to speak your truth. Let me get some Beyond the Maria cards for you. And then I'm feeling a little fairy card. These cards are the hardest I have to shuffle, you guys. <laughs> this is Beyond the Maria cards. I just had some fall in my lap, so I think they're wanting me to take these. Oh, it's four cards. Do you want them all? Let's just try to get one or two of these spirit. Which ones are the most important? This one. I thought so. The one I saw first. The furred and feathered friends. The furred and feathered friends are very important this time. Not only are they being activated while you were, they're here as your like sentinels, your protectors, your spirit guides, your spirit guides helping you through. Now you might be seeing them around you if you don't even have an animal. You might be seeing other furred and feathered friends showing up. There could be a bird uh, that just comes around. You might be, the birds are coming around more often. The, they're telling me this because I feel some of you don't actually have these animals, but they are coming in. These these furred and feathered friends are also around you, connecting with you, because they are ascending in this time as well. Now, as these energies are coming through and we're working through these energies, some of these furred, furred friends are also working through these energies too. So this is just a call to be aware of that. Be aware of that, um, that we are not the only ones going through this process uh, and to help Help your furred and feathered friends as well. Okay, but this, um, they're, they're showing me the birds. I've been seeing so many birds, you guys. So there's an eagle that flies over me when I go and lay in the field. There's a hawk that goes and flies when I go over this direction. Um, I, I, I had doves that came and lived in my, um, nested in my plant uh, last year. I had this beautiful doves and we had babies and we had a baby and I took care of them. It was so wonderful. I loved my doves. Um, I haven't had them in a while, but I just found a new bird animal came in this morning. I've been talking to the birds so much because I've, I've learned you can make friends with crows and I really want to make friends with crows. In fact, I want to make friends with all the birds. I'm like, if you can make friends with crows, you can certainly make friends with other birds. So I've been talking to the birds a lot outside of my apartment. Um, and it's really funny because the little birds that nest in the trees outside my apartment, I've got one that is now in my, um, in my vent in my bathroom. I was wondering what this noise was and I realized there was a bird up in there building a nest. It's building a nest and I started talking to the bird so I have it and I feel so happy and special because this little bird presence, his little bird presence is so close to me even within my home. They came and get so close to my home so I'm so grateful. I'm just so thankful. I was like what a what is actually what a perfect place to build a nest and you're gonna stay warm and your babies will be protected all through the winter. <laughs> so now I talk to this bird when I go into the bathroom. So there some there might be some things <laughs> It sounds so silly. I feel so silly saying that. I talk to this bird when I go into the bathroom. There might be some things going on like that um, for you. So there could be... There, now they're showing me the snail. So it could even be little insects. They're showing me the snake, the bunny. It could be little insects. They're showing me the stag horns if you connect to the stag. Um, this stag energy is very prominent here. The lion energy. The lion. The fox energy community. Oh, they said they're, it's your community that's gathering around you. This community is going to be coming in. You're, you're going to be going to the community. The garden, the gate, the stepping out of the garden, the gate is going to take you to a like-minded community. Glass apple because you're seeing, you're seeing beyond the veil now and you're seeing beyond the matrix and you're seeing those energies and you're, you know, you know a lot of this was just made up. They just made it up to keep you in here. They told you this was how it was and then you had to believe it. Piercing the veil, you're piercing the veil now. You're seeing for yourself. You're knowing. Crystal medicine, you might be using crystal medicine. We've got this crystal blessing here. If you are using crystal medicines, these crystals are going to be blessing you in this time. They're going to be helping to ground in these energies, helping to heal you. Helping, they might be bringing in codes from different places. You've got record keeper crystals. They might be, um, the crystals are super important, you guys. They're just really important. There's so much information coming in from this crystal medicine card. Let me check my reading here. I thought so. 1727. 1727. 
I've been reading for so long. Let me get you guys the Spirit of the Animals Oracle card and we'll close out this reading for this beautiful 12, 12 portal reading. You're going to be stepping out of the garden gate, cleansing these energies right now. This is justice for you. Have patience with yourself through this process. These energies have come through to help with this indecision. You can see now. You can see where you're going. We're piercing the veil. Penguin. Authentic. I was having a hard time reading it. <laughs> penguin. The penguin card. Authentic. It says, reach out to your tribe in times of need. Family gives you strength when you face the storm. Love your uniqueness. You are full of surprises. Breathe. Oh, break free from others' expectations. Just be yourself. But I said breathe. So I want you to breathe. I think it's very important to breathe. Break free from others' expectations and just be yourself. You are full of surprises. Love your uniqueness. Reach out to your tribe in times of need, your community. Your community. Because family gives you strength when you face the storm. So this community is going to be really important um, through these times. This community, This is. Uh, they're showing me the elephant at the bottom of the deck for greatness. It says, love your strength. Leadership is your path. Your wisdom inspires everyone you meet. You can overcome any problem. You will naturally and easily achieve success. So you are guaranteed success and greatness. See your authentic self. Um, this is what's coming in with these beautiful throat chakra activations with all these energies that are flowing through to ignite this fire, to get you out of this indecision. Have patience for yourself in this time because you are connected directly to source energy. There's some upgrades going on, some major upgrades going on. You were surrounded by the angels. It's taking you to peace. It's taking you to abundance. It's taking you to this beautiful new earth energy. You're going into these beautiful energies of next year. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please let me know how it resonates or if you want to just send some light and love to the collective. I'm always happy to hear from you in the comments. I'm sending you all the light and love and I'll talk to you soon. Hello and welcome to group number two. If you chose card number two, you chose this beautiful portal card. And I'm going to go ahead. I've got it on my phone here. I'm going to lay it here so I can see it while I tap in for you for your messages for the 1212 portal, group number two. Let me go ahead and tap in. Group number two, they're showing me as you, you're kind of floating above the earth. So they're showing me as these outside forces, um, bringing these frequencies in, these star beings, these star beings, these angels, bringing these frequencies into the earth, but they show me as you floating up there with them. You're floating up above the earth, and I feel like you're getting out of yourself and into your higher self through this portal. I feel like you're seeing things from a higher perspective, and they're showing me the light of source, and they're showing me this cross with the light like this, and there's a bright light in the center, and it's breaking out these peaks. This is serious. This is the serious star. So there's some serious codes coming in for you. You could be connected to the Council of Light, but there's some codes coming in from the Council of Light. There are codes coming in from the Grand Council, the High Council. There's codes coming in from the Syrian star. So through this energetic portal, now this is, um, that makes sense. This is a blue card, so this is the Syrian information that's coming through. And I, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that line right there with the light. I was just telling you guys about it. I opened my eyes and this is what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing. So it's like floating above the earth. And I see you like sitting in lotus position, like a like an ascended master floating above the earth, floating above these energies. And I feel like you're as you're floating in there, you are helping to raise the vibration of the earth. So maybe you're doing a lot of meditation in this time. You could be doing a lot of astral work, astral travel, um, to work in astral, work in your sleep, to ground in these energies, to bring in these codes for these golden children. And I see the the gateway opening for the golden children. So we have. An angel, an angel is watching over you. Oh, I've got my special good luck coin. We've got a bee, a little light worker bee. Uh, productivity, and we've got the uh, we've got the coin and and the dice for good luck. So we've got these good luck coin and dice. We've got a two here. We've got a two, and I was saying the golden children. It seems to be the case because this is my uh, my opposites of the same coin. I have the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine on my special lucky coin. Let's flip the coin. 
and it landed on the Divine Feminine. So we've got a Divine Feminine rising. We've got the Divine Feminine, but we've got this balance. We've got the balance between the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. We've got the two here. So this is excellent good luck on this path. This is going to be, uh, this is, again, this is these light workers, these angels. Um, this is what you came for. You came in to anchor in these energies, and this is justice for this path. This is uh, this is an activation going into this portal. This is an activation of the 144. This is an activation of these light workers. This is an activation of the golden children, opening the gate for the golden children. I've got two cards that came out of death and the world. Through these death processes, we are going to the world. Through these death processes, we are raising the vibration of the world. And these are death processes within ourselves. This could be also without us. Death processes within and without us. It's your promised ultimate luck and success. This ultimate completion. You are being taken to the world. This is where this portal is taking you. This 12-12 portal is going to be bringing in new information. You're going to have new information coming in with this 12-12 portal. And they're showing me this connection to thought and wisdom. The keys to wisdom. So we've got a key of wisdom coming in. So we've got those Magdalene keys of wisdom from the, uh, coming in from these other dimensions, coming in for you. This is new wisdom coming in through this portal. New wisdom coming in for this portal. New information. It's a new beginning in thought. I'm also hearing, and now they're showing me the key, the key within the head. They're wanting me to take this card, Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords, and the key hole within the head as an activation of the pineal gland as well. And this is your key, the key, and it's unlocking the wisdom within your head is what they're showing me. This Queen of Swords, you have all the intellect to get there. You are so intelligent and you're using this beautiful Queen of Swords energy to cut away any negative energies that don't serve you. Beautiful feminine, beautiful feminine queen of swords energy. I want me to pull some fairy cards now. Purity, purity. Always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within it, you will find the answer to your question. Your purity of heart, your unicorn spirit, this beautiful fairy nature. This is what's taking you there. Your purity of heart is what you're supposed to pay attention to through this cycle. As this new information comes in, trust in your purity of heart. You will find the answers to your questions. And it says, wait for winter. And this is what we're doing. We're going into the winter right now. It says, during the colder months, the fairy queen of winter will help you manifest your most heartfelt wishes as long as your intentions are for the highest good of all. So if your intentions are for the highest good of all, these manifestations are going to become magical during this winter. You may be seeing some of this already right now. We're going to need to get some Gateway of Light activation cards now. Beautiful fairy magic around you. I may stomach just growled, you may be hungry. You may be hungry for this knowledge. This ace of swords, this queen of swords, hungry for the knowledge, hungry for the world. Hungry for these manifestations coming in. These beautiful things you're manifesting. It must be a very particular card. Two particular cards they were wanting. <laughs> they just popped right out. Here we go. Oh yes, it's the Emerald Tablet activation. Cosmic ordering, divine alchemy, and conscious manifesting. This Emerald Tablet activation, these both wisdom, this connection to, uh, I'm hearing Atlantis as well. I was going to say Egypt, this Egyptian connection, but I feel there's an exception. There's definitely the connection to Atlantis as well with these Emerald Tablet activations. This is the connection I was saying to the Syrian star. So this Emerald Tablet activations, all these codes coming in from the High Council, all this information. This is divine alchemy and it's creating this cosmic ordering on Earth. So re reordering, restructuring as we, as within, so without, as we restructure within ourselves, as within we restructure the Earth without us. So this is what we are doing now with the Venusian Galactic Council. So the 
again, this Galactic Council is here. And this is the Divine Feminine. We're connected to the Venusian Galactic Council. So this is a very, again, the purity of spirit. The, the fairy, the very feminine energy here, this this healing frequencies, um, this intuition, this beautiful watery energy. So water and air, I'm feeling. I'm seeing, um, I'm hearing Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So uh, that could be a meaning for somebody, that could be someone you're dealing with, or this could be your sign. But I feel these energies very strongly here. It says, star being guides, answer the call, time to shine. So you have more guides coming through. I was saying recently there was a change of guards. So I believe there might be some more guides coming through, through this portal. You might be connecting to this Venusian Council. Or your star being guides, there's star being guides coming through. Let me get some other... Here are the cards I'm looking for. Here we go. No, I need the Astar Codes Astro. That's the ones I need. Star Codes Astro. Oh, do we want to pull a few cards for guys? We could do that. Leo. <laughs> Leo, shine. You're meant to shine your incredible light. So now there could be a Leo here. I am a Leo rising, but these are royal star seeds that are rising on the earth. And you're meant to shine your incredible light. They're showing me the I'm an I'm a coli coli I coli I. <laughs> the words are hard today, y'all. <laughs> this is a 38, so 38 could have meaning. Um, these numbers could have meaning the 38 and the 5 as well. But we're rooting these energies in right now, grounding these energies in. You're connecting to the tree of life is what they're showing me. The connecting to the tree of life is what the rooting is. And then it's accessing all these other energies. So you're able to access these higher energies through this connection to the tree of life. Now I was going to get some... Ah. You know what? We didn't get an archetype card. Let's do that. Oh, I know we were gonna pull some for the we were gonna pull some for the guides, see if we could find out who the guides are. They had me pull a alchemy oh, card, melanosis, a darkening. So there could be a darkening that's going on right now through this portal. This could be those um Okay, so you might be doing some shadow work. I was talking about the, the crow earlier. The crow or the raven could have some significance. This could be something um delving inside. Now, again, I was seeing, and now you might have some messages in, in group number one, because I was seeing the darkness around, like the void in that one where we were floating, and then this one we were floating above the earth. So there may be some messages in group number one. That could just be a call for that. But definitely, there could be some darkening that's going on with these. There's new thought that's coming in. And instead, as these frequencies, you're kind of floating in these frequencies, and they're kind of swirling around you, and you get to pick and choose, uh, like which which way to go. So um, there might be other energies coming in. This is bringing up things from the past that maybe you haven't worked through all the way. Those things might be uh, manifesting or showing in your reality as something comes up and it and it has a, and you have a reaction. There's a reaction that you know isn't who you are now. There could be something from the past that's coming up. You might be working through these last bits of those energies right now. And I wanted to get some uh, Earth Alchemy Oracle cards, but I was going to see if we can just find out anything about any of these new guides. So we've got some feline, feline guides here and the golden children. So yeah, definitely guiding the golden children. That's what I was seeing earlier. Did I grab my wrong cards? I did. I meant to grab these. So we have some feline energy here. Merlin. Merlin is a new guide for some of you. I know Merlin was coming in on the, the last major portal that I did a reading on when I was still in Eureka. There's some Norse there's some Norse gods coming through as well. So there's some Norse uh, imagery. There's some Norse uh, Norse spirit guides. So you might have some readings. Uh, you might have some messages in my reading from the Norwegian woods. Let's be a call from that. I feel some strong Mars energy here. Uh, Aries energy. Krishna. Krishna as well. So Krishna could be a guide for some of you. So we've got new guides coming in. New guides coming in. Palladian. So we've got some Palladian guides here as well. Palladian guides. And they're showing me Archangel Raphael as well at the bottom of the deck. So now Archangel Raphael, you could have some messages there. He could be helping to heal you in this time with his his green plasma waves of light. Archangel Raphael is here for you. 
So here's the, they're showing me the alliance at the bottom. There's an alliance going on with all these energies. There's an alliance. This is a starseed alliance. Starseed alliance. Galactic alliance. And I was saying earlier the Gemini energy. So there's definitely some Gemini energy here. And I, this, this could be the twins. Gemini and Mars energy. Gemini and Mars energy. So take this how it resonates. Also the Divine Sophia. The Divine Sophia is here. And that was the Divine Feminine I was feeling. And the dragons. The dragons. And these are the special guides that are helping you through this time. I think we had a pretty good reading here. Let me check my time. 15, 17, 15, 18. I can pull a couple more cards for you. I'm going to get some Earth Alchemy Oracle cards. And then we're going to get some Spirit of the Animals Oracle cards. These all fell on the floor and I'm being called to take them. I'm not even looking at them. We're just going to see what are they. We have got the Green Man and the Moss Agate, Ritual and Ceremony, New Spirit Guides and Tree Wisdom. So this is a call again, just to remind you there are new spirit guides, but this is some tree wisdom coming through. And I was seeing the connecting to the tree. We were talking about the spirit guides, and then we've got the lion come out, the leo, and then we had the root come out, the tree. So this is connecting to the tree of life. This tree of life may be a new spirit guide to you. There may be tree spirit guides as well. Tree wisdom coming through. Ritual and ceremony are going to be very important this time. Azurite and orchid. This is a Lyran stargate. Personal power, healing entanglements, and throat opening. And that's exactly what I was saying. And again, messages in group number one for the throat opening. This is a throat opening that's happening right now. It's healing from these entanglements, healing from these karmic entanglements. Um, and it's recalling your personal power through this stargate. With the uh, Presley Eye Blue Stone, this is a pilgrimage. Now, uh, this is a pilgrimage within. This is sacred sites, grid work, and dragon energy. But you could be actually doing this in your reality. You could be doing this actual work on this at the sacred sites. This grid work, this dragon energy. It's bringing in, it's anchoring in these codes. It's doing special things for you. You may be going and, and laying on the ley line, maybe meditating. Maybe it's somewhere you walk. Maybe it's somewhere you go. But there's dragon energy coming through. This is grid work and sacred sites. This is really helping to ground in these energies. It's helping to change you and change your reality. With the crazy lace agate and sunflower, you're being encouraged to play more and to have fun. So make jokes and have laughter and have more fun. I know it's been, it feels like a really serious energy is moving through all of this if we all want to get it right. But this is just a call again to play and have fun and have fun through this process. That's what we're here for. We are here to grow and to play, to learn, to get into our ascended master states, to get into our master state, uh, to get into that, um, the satsana, to get into that uh, bliss, blissful state, and then to play, um, and to play and to bring into these beautiful energies. And this is just a call to have more fun, to have more fun and have laughter. And, um, and now that I'm saying that, I feel like I need to pull a couple of fairy cards for you as well. Play, play. They're just reaffirming play. Music, music's gonna get you there. So this alliance is bringing in a lot of good music. It's bringing in uh, good TV shows and stuff too that actually are going to help you and not programming you, <laughs> break the programming. So there's information coming in um, through music. Have fun and play. Play when you put on these music, these frequencies. Check out my manifest frequency channel below. Um, definitely check out the links below. This is this music is going to get you there. The music is going to get you to that higher vibrational state. It's going to keep you in that higher vibrational state and help you to play and have fun in your beautiful reality. You are loved. You are loved and protected by the angels. You're protected and loved by this alliance, by these new guides that have come in for you. Take a breath. Take a breath and take care of yourself and relax and breathe through this time. Take a breath. Take a breath, and now they're also showing me to meditate. Um, for some of you, this is a call to meditate. If maybe you haven't been meditating, if the energies have been too strong, um, or you've been just resting, but this is a call to meditate, to take a breath and connect. Connect to these new spirit guides, because there's new spirit guides here. They're showing me the bottom of the deck. You are beautiful. You are beautiful, and you are loved by this alliance. You are beautiful, and you are loved. These are fairy blessings, fairy blessings that have come in for you. 
fairy blessings through this beautiful 1212 portal for the golden children. Oh, that makes sense. It's a 1212 portal. It's the 12, the 12 from the council. <laughs> it's the golden children. Okay, that's what we're doing. That's incredible. Let me know how it resonates, you guys, or just send some light and love to the other members of the collective as they're all, we're all going through these collective energies right now. Um, and it is a lot of hard work and it also can be a lot of fun. So I hope you are staying in the play and you're enjoying this play. I'm sending you guys all the light and love and I'll talk to you soon. Hello and welcome to group number three. If you chose uh, card number three, you chose this beautiful portal. And I went ahead and put it on my phone so we can have it here while I tap in. So I've got it to look at. All right, let me go ahead and tap into your messages for this 1212 portal, this gateway, group number three. Group number three, you may have messages in more than one group because they're showing me sort of the same thing almost when I go into my my meditations. Now, this one is a little different. Again, I'm seeing you in lotus position, so you might be doing a lot of meditating. This could be just reflecting your altered state. So we're, we've got us up in lotus position, but then they're showing me the triangle and they're showing me a portal. So there's some new information, new codes that are coming in. They're showing me the, oh, okay, lots of information. Hold up. <laughs> there's new information coming in from Egypt. So we've got some pyramid activations, some pyramid activations that are act that are activating your crown chakra. They're coming through your crown chakra. So we've got some frequencies coming in from ancient Egypt and possibly from other places on the planet as well at the same time. But I definitely feel these ancient Egyptian pyramids. Um, I'm feeling Giza, Giza, Giza activations. So there's activations coming in that are activating your crown chakra and they're bringing this extra light into your third eye. So they're showing me, they're showing me a divine matrix. They're showing me different uh, geometric patterns. I'm seeing like flowers and stars and um, you might be seeing lights. You might be seeing light codes. You might be seeing light codes. You could be com communicating light codes with others. Take this how it resonates because I'm getting different messages. I have a bunch of different people here. So take this how it resonates. I'm definitely somebody is sharing light codes. Other people are seeing them. You're getting a lot of magical information and downloads. You're getting a lot of beautiful magical downloads because you are surrounded by the angels. This is a cosmic gateway for you. An angelic activation, a higher crown chakra activation, connecting you directly to source. This information is coming through so fast. Let me try to... It's very powerful. So there's very powerful information coming in for you. Group number three. Forgot where I was at for a minute, what number I was on. It's really whacked my head out. It's uh, so it's gonna really change your head. There's a, uh, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel it. Um, I see this, I feel these um, Lemurian activations here. So I feel also this healing from the Orion Wars and um, Mintaka. I feel Mintaka here. So I feel some very strong Mintaka vibes. I saw Orion last night and I was, it's the strange thing, the energies came through um, and I, I wasn't, I normally go to sleep for midnight, but it was 2 a.m. and I was outside. <laughs> so I was outside with my big furry coat, a uh, hooded coat un under the stars. And I was looking up at the stars and I was looking at the star that was communicating to me and it was so beautiful. And I felt like I was getting codes from Sirius. And then I look over and I see um, Orion. I see Orion. So this is definitely a call to Orion. I felt, I felt information coming from the stars, like they were around me and they were bathing me in this light and it felt so magical. So maybe something like this is happening to you. And now that I'm looking at this card, I see all the starlight. So this is definitely what they're seeing. They're showing me that there's information coming from these stars. And as I said that I threw this key down on the table, because I'm talking to you with these charms in my hands. This is keys. These are Magdalene keys coming in for you. These are divine keys. These are divine keys and codes. For the 144, the 144 keys are coming through right now. Trying to slow it down. The information's coming in through so fast. I feel it. And I threw it through the gateway in the back of my head. The, um, what is that called? The stellar gateway? The, ooh, the gateway. <laughs> the gateway chakra. Um, so there's definitely codes coming in. There's codes coming in, downloads coming in for you. It's activating you in this higher light purpose. In this, uh... Lightworker, it's going to make you more productive and more abundant. Um, but there's grounding these codes in for the lightworkers. I've got another key. So there's just multiple keys and codes coming in for you. Multiple keys and codes. It's bringing in peace. 
it's bringing in this beautiful peace. This is what these like workers are doing. It's bringing in peace from the Orion wards. It's bringing in peace from um, from Atlantean times. It's bringing in peace um, from all these different things that we have gone through that maybe you don't remember, maybe you're starting to remember. But it's bringing in peace from all these things. It's bringing peace to your soul. For some of you, maybe you don't know that you were in Orion Wars or in Lemuria, uh, in Atlantis as it fell, in Lemuria as they were uh, putting all of those structures in place to, to control, in, in Atlantis as it fell, um, in Orion through the wars, in the Lyran Wars. Uh, so I'm even seeing Lyran Wars here. So maybe some of you don't know that you were in these, but your soul knows. Your soul has those memories and this karmic cycles from them as well. And these are things that you are learning and you're healing from right now. So this is a particular message for someone. Please only take what resonates. But definitely there's um, healing from these. I feel the Orion presence, this Orion gateway uh, coming through. These are handmade. You are handmade for this. And these are codes that are handmade for you. You were connected to the Council of Light and you were connected to this beautiful Christic wisdom. Maybe this Christic light is moving up within you now. Maybe you're activating your pineal gland or healing your pineal gland. Maybe you're working on moving the, uh, the sap, the sacred sap up to that pineal gland uh, once a month. I know some of you are doing this. This is definitely this bringing in this Christic wisdom. It's bringing the Christic light to that cave of Brahma within your head. And it could be activating your stellar gateway because I feel that activation of the gateway chakra. And it's it's at the base of the neck, at the base of the head. Um, not the base of the neck, you guys. At the base of the head, right in that little dip between, uh, between the little two things right there, the little nodules, you can feel it right there. That's where your stellar gateway is. That's your gateway chakra. Um, and it's taking you somewhere. It's a stellar gateway activation, I am hearing. A gateway activation. I'm filling the gateway, gateway of Light activation cards for you. So let's get a couple of those. There's really powerful information coming through for you. I want a very particular card. What card is it, Spirit? This one? <gasps> this central sun. You were guaranteed success, abundance downloads, a regeneration success. I'm so excited. What could be more beautiful? What could be a more perfect card to come through for this? And I'm talking about all these activations. Again, you might have messages in multiple groups. They are seeming to run together. And this one very much. This is the sun, the cards from the central sun coming through. This is the, these are the uh, Egyptian activations that are rising you up, this new information that's coming in, these abundance downloads, you're getting downloads to abundance, it's taking you to this productivity and abundance, it's taking you to peace, because as you live in the abundance, you will be peaceful. These are star healing, healing codes that are coming through for you, important information, your wounds are healed and you're recharging now, so this is the time to recharge. And they're showing me the bottom of the deck again, the temple of truth, the temple of thru truth. This is the temple of truth and they're showing me the gateway. They're showing me the gateway and you walking through and they're showing me like opening your throat chakra and the flood coming out and speaking with your authentic true self. And now they're, they're showing me the Emerald Tablet activation, so I will take that one. No, I've got to take both of them. Okay, we're going to put it down. No, they want me to show me this one too. The Venusian Galactic Council is here too. They were in the last reading as well. We've got this one was in the last reading. Emerald Tablet activation. This is an Emerald Tablet activation. This Ancient Egyptian activation. These star being healing codes. This Syrian activation. These healing from the Orion Wars. This is healing, healing and grounding in these codes, this is divine alchemy and cosmic ordering. You are going to be consciously manifesting with these abundance downloads that come in. This is a soul star activation. And I was hearing a Merkaba activation when I was first started the readings, you guys. So definitely a Merkaba activation, soul star activation, remembering your soul contracts and remembering who you are. And that's what I was said. It felt like you were rising up out of yourself, uh, seeing things from a higher perspective and that you were connecting to your higher self connecting to your higher purpose and remembering who you are. This is an incredible message. Group number three. What an incredibly powerful message. I feel like all that information like just flowed through me so hardcore and now I, like, I don't even know where to go. 
<laughs> like all that information is there. Now we're just gonna now we're just gonna suss it out a little bit. Arrival. You have arrived to this beautiful, beautiful stag energy. You have arrived to this beautiful, beautiful manifesting abundance. This is the fifth house for passion. This is your passion, your creativity. You're going to be creating something incredible. And I do feel like it's going to be bringing in love as well. It's going to be bringing in love because there's a passion. There's a beauty. There's a beauty. And with this love, I'm feeling like a community, like a, a love through a community. Let me grab some tarot cards here. The two of swords, it flew out, um, it was in the middle of the deck. It kind of flipped over and then the cards went on top of it. So it's a very protective, it's a very protective, you're being very protective of your energies right now with this two of swords and that's honestly the best energy to be in. You're like, keep away from me. <laughs> keep away from me. I feel like for some of you, because they're showing me on this card, they're showing me the blindfold. And that you're just going through, it feels like your head might be on the chopping block. You might be in places that are um, not the best place for you. But you're just doing this with your innocence and your intuition and knowing this is the right way to go. And this is the best path for you. I want to know, oh, you know, we was asking about the house of passion and I got the two of swords. So you were protecting yourself, but I do feel that this is just a call for that double energy here, that, that partnership energy. Let's see, maybe the, maybe uh, for some of you, this could be a disconnect from a past partner. For some of you, this is, um, you're not connected to your partner. So for some of you, this is a trusting uh, trusting. We've got a queen of wands, a queen of wands using this fire. It's you're beautiful. You're passionate. You have this beautiful fiery energy. This is the passion, the ace of swords. There's new information coming in. There's going to be a new beginning, a new beginning. The eight of swords. I feel, I feel with the eight of swords, it's a new beginning to those uh, hard energies that whatever was keeping you on the so you're saying chopping block. I don't know what that means. Um, keeping you in sort of negative energies, trying to fool you, fool your mind. We're going to bring these over here. The Venusian Galactic Council is coming in to eradicate these energies. This is what these energies are. Uh, this is all these protective energies around you. It's getting rid of this Eight of Swords energy. You might have felt tied up. You might have felt bound. Soul contracts. You were bound to soul contracts. You were cutting away the soul contracts. There's the core dissolval. I'll put the link below in the description. Um, but there's a, a dissolving of uh, contracts that were keeping you bound um, to some timeline that maybe wasn't the best for you. This is the Four of Pentacles. Uh, you were having to watch and protect your money. You were having to keep everything safe. Look at the look at the unicorn there looking at the sketchy, <laughs> sketchy side like, whoa, let me hold on to my money. I'm going to put these under my feet. I'll hold this one on my head. So the crown chakra activation is going to be bringing in your abundance. moving you away from those energies the fifth house of passion you are moving towards this passion with this beautiful fiery purpose you have some beautiful light to share with the world and it is a new beginning this is new information that's coming new information new information that's coming through for this portal it's going to take you to this beautiful queen of cups energy so we've got the queen of wands and the queen of cups the queen of wands and the queen of cups I do feel you're going to be able to hold this beautiful, this beautiful love energy for this community. It's going to be like a, and I'm right now I'm feeling this beautiful divine feminine community. And I'll take this how it resonates. We all have a mixture of the divine masculine and divine feminine within us. But right now I'm seeing a divine feminine community. I see this community, uh, new information, fiery purpose is going to be protecting money. There could be some working together. There could be some working together to grow abundance with this community. With the Ace of Wands, again, that's a new beginning, a new fire beginning. You're growing something. You're going to be growing something. Have patience with this process. The Five of Pentacles, it's getting you out of these Five of Pentacles energies. It's moving you away from these energies. Have patience. Have patience with this process. Temperance and uh, where you put your energies is what they're showing me. Temperance and where you and whose cup you fill. Temperance in whose energetic field you swim in. Be very careful. Um, it's taking you to these beautiful energies. They're showing me the bottom of the deck for the tower moments and they came in reverse. 
And it's going to be an end to these tower moments. By getting out of these energies and moving up this way. Let me get a couple more cards here. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a beautiful fire creative. So this is a new beginning. New beginning in this passionate love. A new beginning to home. A new beginning in the survival. It's taking you out of these old energies. This is a portal. This is a portal. A sanctuary of light and mugwort portal. Five dimensional healing temple astral travel. And this is what's coming through this portal for you. It's taking you to this. It's new. There's new information coming in. It's going to be a new beginning. It's taking you to this beautiful queen of wands energy. This beautiful queen of cups. This is nurturing, loving, beautiful feminine energies. It's going to take you to these feminine energies. If you're the divine masculine, it's going to take you to these feminine energies. If you're the divine feminine, it's going to take you to more of these feminine energies. It's, it's a beautiful portal. It's taking you to a new beginning. Beautiful new beginning. Abundance downloads. You are guaranteed success. I don't know why I said that. I don't see it here. Yes, right here. Success. There we go. Abundance downloads. You are guaranteed success. I was, I was just feeling it. Yeah, you're just guaranteed success from all the readings I did. Again, I feel like they all ran together. So I want you to pull some dragon cards for you really quick. I want some like dragon fire to throw into this. What have we got? Divine order. This is the divine order. This is the divine order, not these energies. These energies that you're moving to, they are taking charge with these emerald tablet activations. This Archangel Raphael came up in the last reading, and I feel these green plasma waves of light. So definitely, definitely Archangel Raphael activations here. Um, emerald tablet activation. This is the divine order, and it's coming through to take you somewhere incredibly beautiful. It's going to be a new beginning. You're going through this incredible portal to a new beginning. And I'm wanting one more dragon card. They're flipping over and right back in the deck. King Arthur, it's giving you mastery. It's going to be giving you mastery over these energies. You're going to become the dragon rider. This fire, this fire chalice is coming through. This fire, this queen of wands energy. This fire is being ignited. This sun energy is being ignited within you. Have patience with yourself. Have patience with yourself. You were really having to protect yourself from those energies. So have patience with this process. Let me get a, I'm feeling a Spirit of the Animals Oracle card for you. So close out your reading, group number three. Incredible, powerful messages that all came through in the beginning and then I felt like I kind of had to stumble my way through after that and now we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're ending out in a really beautiful place. I like this, I like this. This is a very, this is a journey. It was a journey of a reading, a journey of a reading. I feel like it kind of reflects on our, our, our path right now. So it's beautiful information. It's the pathfinder. I was seeing the path, the wolf. So we're doing, we're using, we're finding the path through these energies, these uh, frequencies, our intuition, and knowing where to go through all these energies around us and this fire that's coming through. The wolf, it says, release your past and start a new journey. You are a teacher and help others find their way. There will be challenges, but your soul is strong. Perseverance is your secret power. You have a love that endures. And this is beautiful. This is the Pathfinder. That's what I said. You're moving forward to these new energies. This is a new beginning. Your new beginning because you're meant to help others. You're this beautiful light worker bee. These are abundance downloads and star healing codes that are coming through for you. That's taking you, taking you to this passion, taking you to this new fiery purpose and taking you to this mastery. And that is a beautiful message. I'm actually wanting a little fey card. So let me just get you a little extra fae card. Number three, I'm feeling some of these forest fae cards. So let's see what the forest fae have to say for us. The storyteller. Stories are medicine, strengthening and re Hold on, let me see this. Re renewing, strengthening and renewing the storyteller. Stories are medicine, strengthening and renewing. What was I saying about the um, the Easter eggs? I was saying that there was going to be things in our environment that we would see, uh, sh shows, TV shows, music, that's going to actually help to rewrite, help you to understand what's happening or what has happened. So this is storytelling. This is, this is giving you, um, this is strengthening you and renewing you. Helping you know what happens, helping you know what's going on. These these ones that are pointing out the truth. Okay, so there's some information coming through, and that's a that's a that's just something they wanted me to share with you. There's information that's coming through in stories for you. Now they could be books. 
So we've got two more cards here. The Raven shows the way. Be courageous. Change and chance can bring exciting wonders. And it's going to because you're going somewhere new. And she said she of the Mossy Bay. Now remember there was some negative energies over here. Not all things are as they seem. Trust in your intuition. And that's what I said. You're just going to be flowing there with your intuition. You might not know what's happening in the middle of it. But you're just going to be keep going forward with your best intuition. And that's actually taking you where you need to go. It's taking you right where you need to go. And the raven is going to show the way. And we had the raven, uh, the raven, the crow come up uh, multiple times through this. So chains and chants are going to bring exciting wonders. Go ahead and make sure that you're healing and resting during this time. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water, you guys. Uh, you're guaranteed success. This is a beautiful, beautiful portal. Beautiful portal. I'm excited to bring you this, these powerful messages. Um, please let me know how it resonates because I love hearing from you guys. Apparently, I've been reading for a very long time now. <laughs> I'm sending you all the light and love, and I'll talk to you soon.